We welcome you inside Charlotte West Stadium, Connor Onion and Will Farmer. So glad you can be with us for a weekend full of softball. The Salukis go with their steady hand in the circle. Brianna Jones, one of the top starters in the Missouri Valley Conference in just about every single category. 22 wins on the season, and she's coming off that marathon weekend where she pitched 23 innings in two games. It's a tough play by Jansen, a ball going over her left shoulder. She's at second, Bailey's at first after the error by Decker. In Carbondale. Here's the lineup for Kerry Blaylock, 18th year head coach of the Salukis. Starts with Susie Baranski, Will. Yeah, followed right behind her is Maris Bolins and Maddie Vermijan and Caitlin Massa and cemented her spot in the cleanup spot. And Jenny Jansen really has been swinging it well. It's, great. it's kind of interesting how things have turned the last couple weeks. Last homestand for SIU, they dropped two of three against Indiana State and headed to Evansville. So yeah, three through really number nine, Evansville still had a fighter's chance heading into last weekend, not looking like they'll make the tournament after the Saluki swept them, but. Craig's been working quick. She's been filling up the zone a little bit. She's been nothing to show for it so far. Yeah, Craig. Were you ever involved so as a player in one of those? Uh, I was. The big bill next time I go in there <laughs> with all the cavities I'd have. Courtney Crook this year, a little bit of a step back. Northern Iowa hasn't been able to find much consistency. Well, good news for Caitlin Massa this week. The, the accolades just keep coming for the Saluki sophomore. She's been the player of the week several times. Well, kind of got off the hands of uh, Andrews there. Wasn't really... Not quick out of the box. The ball really just kind of looked like a tick. Ashley Chesser christening this game with a two-run home run, her second of the year, to give Northern Iowa a lead in the fourth that probably would have scored a run if Crowdinger didn't get her glove on it at third. No, just another good play by Crowdinger. The, the inning is over. One, two, three for the Salukis. That's you back to the plate in the bottom of the fifth. You and I by two. Two outs, just get a base runner on. Shortened up, let it get deep. Punch it right through the four hole. Ball was hit well, too. Get a pitch by Craig there. Don't want to give a hot hitter at the plate anything too good to hit, especially as the wind picked up, as you mentioned before, working the corner right there. And shorten up and go the other way with it. Sharp line drive right off the second baseman's glove. That just opens up that inside part of the plate for her. Able to get the barrel to it, and it's a good. She represents the winning run here. Brooke Craig. And Vermijan to third. The tying run coming home. Here's the throw. Not in time. The Salukis tie the game. So in scoring four off Brooke Craig in the bottom of the seventh inning. And the Salukis fist pumping their way, staying in third place with a 4-2 to win. Game two is coming up next. Will and I back in a few with our whole crew here on ESPN+. This is the Valley on ESPN.